Well, hey there everybody, nscale.org, a uh, little layout tour, just uh, what I've gotten done. Um, yeah, so a lot of work, a lot of junk on the layout right now, but uh, I think it's coming along really well. Uh, so I've got my logging line layout here uh, with my brand new Shea, one of the two I picked up uh, from the local hobby show there. Congratulations, Warren. You, you're uh, picking up the other one by the looks of it. So I hope uh, your logging line turns out really well. But uh, yeah, it's coming along. A couple whole scale steam donkeys just kind of for appearance sake. I'm going to try and find an end kit one and throw it in. But uh, I'm going to try and do some trickery with depth perception. So my logging line along the top, it's coming along really well. Um, a lot of trees, uh, all handmade along the top there. Uh, over here I still have some work to do trying to figure out what I'm going to do for an offload and engine maintenance facility, uh, detailing it up a little bit more, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Um, so I'll start from the end over here where we just were. So, uh, my horseshoe curve, if you will, going around the back side of the mountain on the lower level. Um, I really like this scene right in here. Can't really tell right now. But uh, just watching the train come around the corner there, it looks really cool. And uh, one of my new projects that I just finished working on, and I just uh, updated uh, updated my, my thread there, is uh, the uh, refinery. This was uh, actually kind of a fun kit. This is the first time I really, really took my time on a kit. Um, Hand-painted all the... Uh, individual parts. I just used some uh, plastic hobby spray paint that uh, you a they actually use for um, what is it? Uh, model airplanes. So I picked up a nice silver color and I painted the parts individually. The yellow stuff I'm still gonna have to weather that out but uh, all in all I think it's a really cool scene. Um, and because I ended up doing this I thought what better use of a pipe load uh, than having it uh, being transported to the refinery for some new piping at the refinery so this is a micro trains kit here um, initially the pipes were black but once again I painted them uh, weathered down the cars added some chain and there you go so it's coming along nicely uh, as you can see here I'm in the process of adding a new road and uh, a new industry as well just kind of a transfer terminal uh, that's gonna go right on in there once the glue is all dry, but I just uh, glued all that down, so I don't want to put it down there. My uh, engine facility is coming along really, really nicely. I added some trees on the outside. I uh, used some styrene on the inside there and filed it all down so the engines fit through really, really nice. Uh, my inner module yard, inner mod yard, whatever you want to call it. It's looking really busy right now, but that's only because I don't have a lot of place to put the trucks and all the extra equipment. So. Uh, they're just kind of hanging out in the inner module yard for now. Eventually, I'm going to have a couple of trucks backing up to the transfer terminal over there once I, I get her all done. But, and then a couple new projects also. I, uh, I decided this used to be my uh, transfer yard for center beam cars. And uh, it was really nice. But you know what? With uh, with the new Tomics and and uh, men, men, Maruka, whatever you call them, the new... Uh, uh, the new uh, container loaders. How could you say no to uh, to doing an inner mod yard? Like those are those are just hot, man. Those are looking really, really good. So, inner mod yard. Here I come. Still haven't put together the office that I bought a number of weeks ago, but uh, that's on my list of things to do. So, so looking for a place for my center beam cars to load up. I uh, moved that off in behind my warehouse here. So this is a work in progress. Still the uh, the. Uh, wood isn't to scale by any means, but it's just there kind of as a mock-up. So added a two uh, two spurs and uh, moved my... Oh, well, that was awesome. Sorry guys, my uh, camera died on me, doesn't that figure? So anyways, um, yeah, where was I? I don't even remember. It was yesterday that I started filming this, so... Um, yeah, so there's the transfer yard for the uh, center beam cars and the uh, thrall all-door box cars, which... I just picked up these ones right here. I'm looking for the B serial ones forever. Those are awesome. The Can 4 ones I picked up uh, out in Calgary at Super Trains. And uh, I think I got them for like three or four bucks each, which, man, you can't, 
can't go wrong with that so anyways uh yeah my construction yard gotta weather the equipment up there a little bit and uh gotta work on my farm over here you can see it's a little try and get some light over here you can see it's a little uh in need of a little bit of upgrade there there you go a little bit more light and uh yeah so over here uh, i've done a little bit of work yesterday since yesterday uh, threw some log cars on up, some disconnects, some empty spine cars up in the back there. And uh, managed to do a little bit of scenicing right around my uh, my container transfer kind of area here. My, I guess, bulk storage, if you will. And I uh, got a double header shea on up there. Let's see if I can get that sucker going there. It's uh, quite a show. I love the, love the shays. They look pretty, pretty good. Scook them hot. A little expensive though to pick them up. Just running DC right now. Uh, gonna change over to DCC really soon. I've got a Zephyr on the way, so really looking forward to that. But yeah, there's the double header shade. Absolutely awesome. So uh, Atlas has done a really good job with those. I'm quite impressed. Uh, I like the. You know, I've got the the Bloedel Stewart and Walsh. That's the second one there. I like the first one because uh, it's got the actual, looks like brass pistons in there. And that just looks really, really sharp. And uh, a little bobber caboose that I uh, kind of bashed a little bit from an, uh, from a, what do you call it, um, a Bachman kit, so. Anyways, yeah, sorry about my camera skills, not very steady here, but... Anyways, uh, so that's, yeah, basically what I got in the go. Hope you guys enjoy the video.